Hey, what's up guys? Steven with another video for you. So if you have a large home or a large office, you're probably trying to do extenders and repeaters to get that Wi-Fi signal to cover everything. Well, in today's video, I have the Amplify HD. Now this Wi-Fi system comes with repeaters and everything ready to go. So sit back and relax and let me tell you all about it. But first, let's unbox it. It comes with instruction books, but you won't need that. Now I got everything out of the box, let's take a closer look of everything that you get. This is the main piece that produces the Wi-Fi. The cool thing about it, it has a display so you can see your upload and download speeds. You have a USB-C power input. You have an output to go out to your external hard drives or printers. You have your internet input, and then you'll find four ethernet outputs so you can run those out to your computers and these do support the gigabit speeds. On the bottom of it, you do have a reset button. You'll also find a light that makes it shine whenever it's plugged in. You also get two of these antenna extenders, so you can put these on either side of your house so you can really extend the range. The cool thing about it as well, it's magnetic. Once plugged in and connect to the unit, it has these little lights so it can tell you how good the signal is coming to it. Most routers, you have to set up from a computer or just take the factory default that comes with it. But the cool thing about this particular unit is that you use an application. And instead of having 2.4 and 5 gigahertz on your router, this combines the signal so it sends the optimum signal to your device. So let me show you how to get it all set up. Take the ethernet out of the back of your router and plug it right into the internet here. And then take the USB power cord and plug it right in. Next you wanna to go to your Android or Apple App Store and download the Appify app. And then press on it. Press continue and then press setup. Unplug your modem and plug in the ethernet cable, just like that. Then hit continue. You also do get a pop-up on the unit to tell you where to get the app set. Now the pop-up on the phone does give you an indication to set up the router. Go ahead and press that, and now it's connecting to the router. You'll get this configuration pop-up right on the unit. Now give your Wi-Fi a name. For password, I'll just put anything in for testing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then hit done. Press continue and wait to it to write all the configuration into the router. If you don't have the newest software in it, you'll get this update pop up. Just go ahead and touch it to update it. Once it says complete it, go ahead and hit continue. Now you wanna create an account. I'll use my Facebook account just to log in. Once you get logged in, hit continue. Now you can see the router and it gives you the proper placements of the different devices. Once it's complete, you'll get this indication that it's online. Now I'm gonna run some tests, see which one is better, the router I currently have or this guy and then I'm gonna try it in different parts of the house. So currently, this is a router I've been using and I have it on a 2.4 gigahertz. So let's do a speed test. Now I'm gonna configure it to the five gigahertz and do a speed test for that as well. Now let's connect the Amplify and see if I can get a better speed out of it. One thing I do notice is that the Amplify unit creates one Wi-Fi location. And the reason it does that is that it will automatically configure if it's 2.4 or 5 to give you the best speeds, which is a pretty handy thing so you, have to, you don't have to use two different logins. So now I am connected to the Amplify unit. Let's do a speed test. Whoa. So I'm very surprised the product worked right off the bat. I did two speed tests with, in the same room with the same router and both of them never reached 90,000. With the Applefly unit, it went over 100,000. That's pretty impressive. As you can see, it's a huge difference in your performance even with the exact same network.
So let me show you a little bit about the application so you can see a little bit more of the controls you can have with it. The first tab is performance. You can see the uploads and downloads happening right there. You can also do a speed test, see how good your network is performing. Then you have guest. You can choose how many guests can have access to your network. You have shared. So how many people comes to your house to want access to your Wi-Fi? You can then share them the access code right there. You have settings. And this is where you can change the name of your router, your password. You can also pause the internet on any device in the home. So let me show you how to do that. First, you want to create a profile. And let's just call this kids. Hit done. Now continue and add devices. You can create quiet times. So you can say what dates and what time to shut down the internet. And then look at devices. You can see all the devices online. So if I wanted to shut down my own phone, I could press that and then it then shut the internet down. And the last part here is you can actually see how good the router is performing with all these check boxes. Now the last thing I want to show you guys is that this router has a touch screen on front of it so you can see what's happening on demand anytime you like. The first screen on the display shows you the time and date. If you tap it once, this will show you how much data has been used up and down. You tap it again, shows your IP address, the speed that's going up and down on the unit, and it'll also show you which ports are actually been used. To be honest, I was a little skeptical of the performance of this router because I have a $300 gateway Motorola that works pretty well. But to see that this actually increased it about 20 to 30 megabits per second, definitely this technology works. So if you're interested in learning more about this, I'll leave a link in the description below. And like my videos. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.